Hey guys, this is James. And this is Brandon. And we're here at Burger King to try out the new Bacon and Swiss Sourdough King. Can it compare to the classic Jack in the Box Sourdough Burger? Let's find out. <laughs> Right now, we're on our way to Jack in the Box to get the Sourdough Jack. We're gonna talk about the new guy, which is the Bacon and Swiss Sourdough King. I am an expert at the Sourdough Jack. Back in the 90s, it was called the Grilled Sourdough Burger. It wasn't called a Sourdough Jack. They changed the name of it. And that was uh, one of my favorite fast food burgers to eat. So to compare this to a newcomer on the block, I am definitely gonna have a palate for that. So I can't wait to see how it compares. Where are we going now? BK. I'm gonna see if this newcomer has a chance against the classic sourdough jack. Oh, he's already reaching for fries. Yeah, gotta cleanse the palate a little bit. Wait, this strong bag. So when we went to Jack in the Box, we forgot to ask them to cut the burger in half. We meaning me. Now you get to see the cameraman do some cutting techniques. Let's see how your knife skills are here. I hope you washed your hands before you touched that. Righteous cutting skills, boy. Here it is. Bacon and Swiss sourdough, sourdough king. king. Is it really the king of the sourdough burgers out there? Because I have been eating the Jack in the Box sourdough burger, so I want to see if this can hold a candle to the sourdough Jack classic from Jack in the Box. Play the choir music. So do you want to try the classic Jack in the Box first? Let's just taste the thing that we're familiar with yeah. first. Here's the new Burger King and here's the Jack in the Box. We're gonna to have to use a couple of napkins for this review. Everything kind of gels properly on this burger. There's nothing that's overpowering. Everything seems to be kind of a nice blend of all the ingredients. That's one of the reasons it's been around so long. It's just one of those classic Jack in the Box sandwiches you can just go to. Now for the contender, the new kid on the block. The one who's- The boy band? Right, this is the boy band of sourdough hamburgers. This is the Burger King Bacon and Swiss Sourdough King. Oh. Is it really the king? When you're brand new, you oh. could really, you could like work out with this thing. It's that heavy. It's huge. Right from the start, there's a notable difference. The lettuce jumps out at me, and not in a good way. I'm not mm. sure, I don't like the lettuce in there. Yeah. It's a very soft bread as opposed to the, the sourdough jack, which is like a hard bread. This is like a a soft sandwich, sandwichy bread. The slice of cheese is a lot thicker mm -hmm. on this sandwich. Mm -hmm. I think it's just mayonnaise, not ketchup. It's a thicker sandwich. It seems real heavy. It doesn't look like the meat is much thicker. It just seems like maybe the bread is thicker. And from what I understand, the sourdough king has already been a sandwich, but then they added this bacon and Swiss alternative mm -hmm. as a new menu item. We finished eating our sourdough burgers and Here's what I have to say as far as comparing the two. The sourdough Jack is the same classic sandwich that I grew up with. The bread is crispier, and the combination of ketchup, mayonnaise, and tomatoes works well within that sandwich. Now for the Bacon and Swiss Sourdough King, I felt like the bread was soggy and it felt more like a club sandwich if the bread wasn't toasted. I found that the inclusion of lettuce and scrapping the ketchup was an interesting take on the sandwich though I'm not sure if it surpasses the Sourdough Jack. Overall, I thought they were both pretty good burgers. I mean, they're the same price sandwich. It really just comes down to your personal preference. The cameraman is now relinquished the camera to the other cameraman. All right, so here's what I think about it. To me, the Sourdough Jack, the bread is much crispier, which has a much better texture to it. The bread for the Burger King, I don't know, it seems a little bit too soft for me. I understand what they're going for, it just didn't work for me. Burger King has kind of a mayonnaise-y taste to it, which the Jack mm. in the Box has the ketchup and mayonnaise together, which kind of blends it out. I didn't really like the overly mayonnaise taste to it. There was a lot of mayonnaise, mayonnaise on that yeah. I mean, I, there is some on the Jack in the Box, but it seems like the ketchup kind of smoothed that out a little bit. I really think the Jack in the Box is still a superior sandwich. I, I, I don't even know if I would order the Burger King again. I don't... There, the lettuce didn't really work for me. Too much mayonnaise. The bread was too soft. I just don't think it's, it can't compete with the Jack in the Box. Sorry. That's my opinion. You might have a different opinion than I do. Out of 10, 5, 10, go. Okay, the Jack in the Box, I don't know what a 10 is. 
the Jack in the Box is the standard as far as fast food sourdough burgers. It's going to be, I mean, I don't know, there's not one better. It's hard for me to give a 10, but if, as far as fast food sourdough burgers, Jack in the Box is a 10. Burger King, about a 6. Sourdough Jack is a solid 10, but the Burger King, not really the king. I would say that's more of a more of an eight, maybe even a seven, because there was too much mayonnaise, and the bread was too soggy, and that's yeah. not what I was expecting going into it. I don't think there's a better sourdough burger in fast food than that that I've tried, so I have to give it a ten. I don't like giving tens out very much, but I think it's the best fast food sourdough burger out there. I think he likes the Burger King better than I did. I wasn't really much of a fan. I won't order it again. Bye, Burger King. Woo. Thanks for the sandwich. Let's just have a five seconds segment of us just blankly staring.